Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's coaching video is called I Only Want Something Physical With Her. Now as many of you know these coaching videos is when one of you guys writes in to me and if I think it's a question that will be beneficial to my viewers and my subscribers I answer the question in a video and of course I keep everyone's personal information private. But what I liked about this email, and it's a short one, is that this is something I think a lot of guys go through. And basically what's happening here is this guy, he has a girl that's super into him, but he's not really feeling it on that level. But he is interested in pursuing something physical with her, but he also doesn't want to hurt her or come off like a, like a jerk. So he asked me what he could do. So I'm going to go through his email and for... At first, I'm going to point out some of the things that he's doing that's causing her attraction level to go up. And then I'm going to give him some tips on what he can do to make the situation much more pleasant for him and for her. But before I get started, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. All you have to do is head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the contact tab, and shoot me a message from there. All I ask is that you guys keep your questions and messages to me just rather short and to the point, really one to two paragraphs max. Otherwise, I'm just not going to have time to get through them. But I will answer you as soon as I can. As I just mentioned, if it's a good question, I will answer it in a video, but either way, you will get a written or video response from me. But I do have to take care of my paying clients first, so if you're just a little patient, I will usually get back to you within a few days to a week. But if you need to get in touch with me right away or you want to dive deeper into your situation, the best way to do that is, again, head over to my website at skillofattraction.com. Click on the coaching tab, and there you'll see I have several options for you to choose from. I offer emergency email coaching where I will respond to you within 24 to 48 hours, depending on which option you select, and that includes weekends and holidays. And I also offer bi-weekly and monthly email coaching where I will work with you throughout that time period. And I also offer one-hour phone coaching for my U.S. clients. For those of you that are outside of the U.S., I will have something for you in terms of phone coaching or Skype coaching sometime soon. Just not sure when, but for right now, if you need to get in touch with me or you need to use my services, you always have email coaching. But I will put a link to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. So let's get on to his email. He says, hey, so recently a girl came and approached me and told me she was interested in me. So we exchanged contacts and she has been blowing up my phone, sending me good morning texts all the time. And I'm not as attracted to her. I don't want anything more than sex. How can I put this to her without seeing, seeming like an asshole? She goes to the same university as me and we have mutual friends. Well, the fact that you're going to be seeing her all the time and you have mutual friends, it's a good idea to not just take advantage of the situation. But first, I wanted to point out that these are all signs of a very high level of attraction for her. I mean, she's blown up your phone. She flat out told you she was interested. I mean, those are pretty big signs. And the fact that you're not as as attracted to her as she is is to you is causing you to be like a little aloof and indifferent. And you also really don't want a relationship and you're not really attached to how this turns out, which really is making her want to work for your validation. Plus, since she's blatantly chasing you, I mean, you're feeling a lot more confident around her. And as I've explained in some of my other videos, this behavior from you is only causing her to be more attracted to you. And in a nutshell, whether you realize it or not, you're really exhibiting like bad boy behavior. And women are extremely drawn to men who behave in this way because it communicates confidence and a high value. And she feels that now she must work to earn your heart, which is causing her to invest more into you. And all of these things are making her feel much more attracted to you. And essentially, you really don't have to do a damn thing. I mean, she had a 
an initial attraction to you. And as David D'Angelo says, attraction is not a choice. And your behavior, this masculine behavior, just reeled her in without you really having to chase her, convince her of anything, or prove yourself. And for those of you that are trying to attract a girl or re-attract a girl, you really want to take note here. Because you don't have to try so hard to get a girl that when she likes you. And as long as there is a strong initial attraction and you express some sort of interest in her in return, there's not a lot that you really have to do. I mean, you really only have to focus on getting her out on dates, having fun with her, and gently leading things into the bedroom. And she will pretty much take care of the rest. Now, in this case, I mean, this guy really, really isn't interested in anything more than sex with her, which is completely fine if that's all you, if that's all you want. However, I do recommend that you be honest and upfront with her or any girl that you become physically involved with that you have no plans on taking things any further. Over the years, I found out that I have found that if you're not honest and you take advantage of the situation, it's really going to end up causing you more grief in the long run. I mean, she's going to be pissed that you used her, number one, and more than likely she's going to end up making your life hell, at least for a little while. Plus, you know, you're going to feel a little guilty about it for taking advantage of her and whatnot. At least most guys would. But on the other hand, if you tell her up front that you're not really looking for anything serious, but you enjoy spending time with her and you would like to continue with that, a lot of the times if she's really attracted to you, she will want to continue seeing you and sleeping with you anyway. So really, that's what I recommend that you do. I mean, tell her that you like her, you enjoy hanging out with her or sleeping with her if you already are, but just that you're not really looking for anything serious. And this way, if she does sleep with you or she continues sleeping with you, she already knows the deal. She knows that this isn't going any further than this. I mean, it's strictly physical and it's strictly for fun and nothing can really come of this. And as long as you're honest with her, Yes, it, there is a chance that she may not want to sleep with you afterwards. But there's also a pretty good chance that she's going to do it anyway because obviously she likes you. I mean, she has proven it with her actions. So I don't think you're going to have much of a problem here. So that's what really how you should handle the situation. Just be honest. You really just want to be honest with women when you're sleeping with them or if you want to take things to a, a higher level. So if you guys have found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. And I'd also really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, and I also have a link to some recommended reading, some great books that if you guys want to Further your education on dating and relationships and attraction and game for men, I highly recommend you read these books. It will really help you. But I will also have a link to PayPal if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.